Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's me, Miss Sana. Okay, I hope you kids are having a great week. I know it's in the middle of the school week. I just want to tell you guys, keep going. You guys are doing a great job. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all for... Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream for all, we all scream for ice cream. That was really hard. This one's called Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very funny Wuzzy. Oh, I did it. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't really fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Got it. This is one of my favorites. It's called Wood Chuck. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood would... How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck would chuck wood? How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> I almost did it. Whoever invented these tongue twisters were pretty cool. I mean, these words are just words being put together that sound the same. But the Bible says that words are very, very important. God cares about the words that we use towards people because words are very powerful. Your words can either help someone or harm someone. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, which is an amazing book about wisdom for your life, Proverbs chapter 15 verse 4 says, Gentle words bring life and health. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. When your words are positive, encouraging, and helpful, it can make somebody's day full of life and bring a smile to their faces. But when you speak words that are negative, hurtful, and harming, it can really make somebody sad, discouraged, and even upset. You see, kids, words are very, very important. Remember, God wants us to use our words to help people and not harm them. Wouldn't you want people to use your words to help you and not put you down? Well, I want you to think about the words that you use each and every day. And I want you to think, are these helpful words or are these harmful words? Well, kids, that is all I have for you guys for this Wednesday. I hope that you guys continue to do good work in your school, homework, whatever you guys have to do. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye.